All right guys, so today we're gonna do um, start painting. Now we're gonna do painting today and tomorrow because we want to give a day of drying time in between the two color families. So today we're just going to paint our primary colored balloons. So our red, our blue, and our yellow. I put up a um, activity on Google Classroom. If you finish your painting early and there's a lot of time left in class, no worries. You're going to take your painting, put it on the drying rack, and then go on to Google Classroom and um, work on that activity for the remainder of class. Um, but right now we're gonna start painting. So I have my water cup, so I have a nice clean water cup um, right here. And I have my watercolors and my brush. So I'm going to start with my um, blue balloon up top. I'm going to um, wet my brush, but no, I'm not, I don't want it to be soaking. I want to wet it, but let, you know, the excess water kind of drip off the edge of the water cup. And I'm going to go into my blue because that's the first color. So remember, we're only painting our primary colors today. Take your time and think about things because we want to let them dry completely before we paint our secondary colors since there will be some overlapping tomorrow. We don't want it to smudge. So I'm going to take my blue. And the first thing I want to do is I want to paint around the edge very carefully with my blue paint on my blue balloon. Now notice where I'm holding my brush. It is right on the, the metal part of my uh, watercolor brush. And that is so that I have control and get a nice, neat outline on my balloon. And once I do that, I can move a little bit quicker. And what I just did that you shouldn't do is I forgot to erase blue the label because I wanted, you know, we planned. It's okay, I just got it there. So don't do what I just did in that sense. But now I'm gonna paint, paint, paint. And I can move a little quicker because I already did my nice, neat, crisp blue outline of my balloon. And notice anytime I start to see some streaks, that means my brush is getting a bit dry and it's time to wake it up with some water and, and maybe a little bit more watercolor. So now I have my blue balloon done. I'm gonna get that blue paint off my brush, get it nice and clean and move down to my red balloon. Same thing, you wanna hold your brush, make sure you have control and really get a nice, I'm gonna need a little more red on there, a nice, neat outline. Now this balloon happens to be overlapping with another balloon and that's okay, it is still red. I'm going to paint around the edge. And I got a nice, neat outline. And now I can start painting inside my balloon with a nice, vibrant red. And you want to make sure your, your paint your paint strokes are kind of going in the same direction and paying attention so that you don't get paint in other areas of the painting. And also, once you start noticing streaks, it just means your brush is drying up a little. And it's time to add a little water and a little bit of paint. And I'm going to do that and paint my entire red balloon. Once I'm done doing that, I'll clean off my brush do my and paint my yellow balloon. And I will be done for the day because I want to let those set up before I do um, secondary colors tomorrow. Have fun painting.